Yo 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 Oh evening mate Come flying in Yeah Dominic Calvert Lewin by almost five minutes Five minutes almost ahead of Erling Haaland Crazy to think he spent a bunch of those games playing out on the wing as well, right? Fucking hell Alvaro Morata in sixth. What a what a player. <laughs> Iago Aspas in the top ten. Emery Chan in tenth as well. What's this? What's this? <laughs> You've been playing at centre back most of the time. Inyaki. Can't believe you didn't guess Inyaki. The second best Spanish midfielder turned striker. With links to both the Ducks and Manchester. Ducks and Cakes. <laughs> Incredible. Sergio Aguero on the list behind. Sergio Aguero is behind two different Real Madrid players. The Ducks, the only team to have a sec their, their second player on before Real Madrid. How many other teams have two? Halfman have. Two, right? Half men have three on the list. Two, two. I can't count. Mate, counting is hard. Three rookies on the list. Goni, Tars. Oh wait, is Victor a rookie? Is it four rookies on the list? Maybe five. Did is, is, is Isaac? Six. Lots of rookies on the list. That's all. I'm, all I know. Oh. I do like our pre-stream stack guessing. George, we've got a big one to start the week. Absolutely massive game. I have no plans. My plans are Andre Villas Boas gets sacked and then I could take the level that I fit job. Weasels. Still only one point under Ivan Juric and it is one man star. Should we see if he's hired anyone? Let's have a quick look. Uh, stuff. Oh! He's brought in an assistant manager. There you go. You've hired Michal Zevla... Zevlakov. 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 Zev... Zevlakov. I think... I think that's how you say it. What did he do before? Where's he been? Uh, from Motor, you've hired the Motor Lublin director of football as your assistant manager. He's not even. He's. He would rather be. Uh, it's got 102 caps. To be fair, played a lot of football. Did our Michal? Oh, Felix. Oh, Pedri. Back post. Easy tapping. First ever gobshite goal for the kid. Felix. And uh, Kyle Walker. Still looking for the ball. He's like, where the fuck is it? Where's it gone? Completely oblivious to the man standing behind. Oh, that's the Pedri versus Pedro matchup. Or ninth and twelfth in goals per minute, or ninth and eleventh. Oh, oh, Gabriel's having none of that. Well, it's actually out of reach, isn't it? As a kid, I used to think she was singing batteries. Battery. Oh my lord, how's that gone in? Allison, Allison, you've conceded to a cross. Oh come on! How's this gone in? 
That was like God in. You certainly didn't mean it. Oh, good to know. Jammy gear. Don't like this. Oh no, we're losing. To oh no. Oh no. This had trap game written all over it, didn't it? Are we really going to be the first team to lose to the fucking weasels? <laughs> oh no. Stop. Stop! <laughs> oh my lord! We're getting absolutely run over! Yeah, we've, we've definitely been slipping in the form table, for sure. We had that great run of like four wins in a row, but since then, nothing. Couple draws, right? We've got... At least we scored this week. Like, we we had back-to-back nil-nil draws, haven't we? I miss Big Rom getting involved. What is this?! Fuck it now. Yes, come on, Aspas. Finds Big Rom. Oh, yes. Can't keep him down forever. Whew. Iago Aspas. What a ball this is. Look at this. Now, Vince, watch this. This is what you want your striker to be doing, pulling defenders. Look at all this space opened up by Big Rom pulling across. And then he just completely powers past the defender because he's so big, strong, and quick. And then a sumptuous finish. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Not Adam Lana and Jordan Henderson. Oh my lord. Oh, yeah, go Aspas to take the free kick. What, what, where's Luis? Get, what's this guy doing? Big Duvan, the cheating bastard. Oh, Wesley Fofana. With the easy tapping. Bit worried. Where's uh, Luis? Luis? Why did you not take the free kick? What's this bullshit? Luis? Hmm. Don't like this. Aspas getting a bit too big for his boots, I think. Might need to wind his neck in a bit. Oh my god, James Milner scored six goals this season. Oh, we really need to beat the Weasels. If we're to have any hope of staying in the top half, we can't afford to not beat the Weasels. Stop. Felix, right. Oh. Oh. I'm scared. Oh, Wesley. Big lump. Stop. Stop this. Oh, no. Okay. Whew. Here we go. No. No. Stop. Why is this still a highlight? We're losing. To oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. No. Stop. Why is this still a highlight? This might be the world's longest highlight. If this doesn't end in a goal, 
There, there we go. For fuck's sake. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, look at that. Now they're winning. The game just dies. No more highlights. Obviously. <laughs> Referee! See, if we were any other team, that would have been a penalty. Referees, on a very strict, give no penalties to the Ducks under any circumstances. Who the fuck was that pass to, Pedri? Oh, what the fuck were you trying to do with that? <laughs> I can't believe we're going to lose to the fucking weasels. Oh. What the fuck happened there? <sighs> oi, oi, oi. Well, I'm not happy. Fingers crossed for the wormhole. Could do with a wormhole right about now. Oh, Suarez becomes powering in with the header. Huffman happy to just strangle the life out of the game now that they've got their goal by the looks of it. Nothing doing. Nice and quiet. Change of pace from the first game. Why is Firmino all the way back there? Hakimi, Zaniola. Oh, lovely ball out to Guerrero. Guerrero having a very good year. Currently second in average rating at the start of the week. Hakimi, oh, thunders it past the keeper. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh my lord. Don't tell me Suarez has got the most votes for that. Oi, oi, oi. Am I like the only person that didn't vote Suarez then? How many people have voted? Yeah. I 
Okay. Whew. At least my chat is a place of intelligence. To be fair, when when I read the question, I was like, I don't even know who the can. Oh, Henrik Mkhitaryan coming up with a late winner. Great goal. I was curious as to who the other person that was going to get votes was going to be. Right. It seemed like such an obvious one answer category to me. <laughs> Turns out, I guess Suarez was the other answer. <laughs> I, was like, I don't even know who else it could possibly be. Oh, is Fekker playing up front again? Big Dom out on the wing. You got average goals per minute leader and you've put him on the wing. So that you can have the league leader in assists as your centre forward. Oh, Fekker. Oh, that's a wide. Five? Jesus. Not <laughs> dead galaxy, bro. <laughs> so, I guess someone might vote Mascherano? I can't think who else there is. I hope someone's voted Otamendi. I guess Allison and Edison, technically. I could see someone thinking it's Allison. Firmino. It cut no one voted Bobby Firmino, surely. Surely not. Oh, oh, I hope someone voted Cleberson. Cleberson was great. Someone did vote for Firmino. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh, we've also got to account for, for Paul, haven't we? God knows who Paul's voted for. Paul could have voted for anyone. <laughs> oh, what ball? Harry Kane! Harry Kane? Marek Hamsik. How has he not got that on target? It makes me sad that they've not given Marek Hamsik his ludicrous fucking mohawk on his little avatar. <laughs> I was thinking Paul could definitely just not read the question and vote Messi. But then I also was like, does Paul even know who Messi is? <laughs> Which one was question 10? <laughs> I know which one is your favourite Paul answer, right? Oh, it's the South American one. Your favourite Paul answer is the one you shared with us, right? <laughs> the goalkeeper one. Because <laughs> that's going to take some beating. <laughs> that answer is perfect on every level. <laughs> I 
I don't even know the score of that last game. How did that last game win? Four draw, thanks. 1-1. One, one. There we go. Was it 1-1 one, one or 0-0? Nil, nil? No, I can't think of it. I don't think any of the goals actually went in. Was it 0-0? Nil, nil? I am not paying attention today. <laughs> Since the Ducks lost, my desire to actually pay attention to any of the football is uh, diminished. <laughs> Oh, can you imagine if Real Madrid pick up a win? Fabio Barini! Oh, ho, ho! He's come marauding up from right back. Anything the Weasels can do this week, Real Madrid determined to do as well. I love Fabio Barini. There's a very real possibility I draft Fabio Barini as my right back next season ahead of Jesus Navas. And I... I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this, but I think I'm okay with it. Wayne Rooney, in what is likely to be his last season as a player. I don't know if uh, SI will update the database to have him be a non-player only. Cruz, oh, lovely goal, lovely goal. Well, if you could finish the game week closer to a team other than Surreal Madrid, I might let you. But the minute... Okay, with that goal, you are now closer to Los Hijos. But a Surreal Madrid win here does mean you are closer to them than any other team, so... Lorenzo whips it in. Oh! Oh! Lovely little bit ahead of tennis, and then Zaha with the 180 volley. Eight points, Wemmer. Eight points. That's like one point every just over three games. So in every three games, the Weasels get an extra draw. Yeah, but by the time I read it, it was eight. So, that's on you. Lorenzo, Timo, Rudy! Oh! Why would I watch the VOD? I don't want to listen to the sound of my voice. My voice is horrible. It also sounds nothing like what I expect it to sound like. It's like seven octaves lower than it should be. To me, I sound like a seven-year-old girl and it's lovely. Oh, Los Hijos are firing today. You say that, someone's going to have him as their manager. And he might not be. They might... Um, they might not put him in as retired. They might just have him retire at the end of the year. <laughs> I don't think it's just him. I'd definitely consider him. Oh, Messi off the post. I keep forgetting Messi plays for this team. And every time I remember it makes me sad. Timo. Oh, Tony Cruz is an absolute psychopath. Send him off, referee. Referee. Oh. 
Oh, lovely ball. Chiro Mobile hammers it home. I might do a write-off draft one year, one season, where I just draft by peak potential ability. So I can just have all the people who were meant to be great but never lived up to it. <laughs> and all the really old people. <laughs> so like, my round one pick ends up being Rooney, and then round two I take Buffon, and then <laughs> you end up picking like Adnan Yanazai in round four or five. <laughs> Oh, great challenge there from Big Frank. <laughs> there is definitely an element to that. But, obviously, oh, Pablo Sarabia. You also end up getting some of the actual good ones. You could also just draft by peak current ability and hope that in round one, one of the current really good players is still still there. Like Neymar might still be available for you, because and he's obviously still very good and has a great peak current ability and potential ability. Oh. Oh, Neuer probably ends up being your round one pick actually. He's probably great at all of those things. Still. <laughs> I I don't know what Benzema's peak abilities are. Someone with the editor check. What is Benzema's peak P A and C A? Whammer, George, make yourself useful. Oh, Los Ejos get the win. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, George. You beat the ducks and then you come in here telling me where to shove it. All FMs ever. Oh, Messi's offside. Unlucky. I don't even know if it is just all FMs or whether it is just they assign a value to his peak. I don't really know how it works, where they get the value from. I shoot. My understanding of it is they just pull the data from all of the FM databases pre that they've had and just slap it in because it's quite interesting. Oh! Leon Bailey at the back post. The geese are flying. This is quickly becoming the worst game week of all time. Ducks lose. Geese win. Serena Madrid lose. Weasels win. Oh, Canales. Oh, Matip. Chiellini whips it in. Oh! Chiesa with the tapping. Lovely goal there. Back post Federico Chiesa. It's been a back post kind of week. All the wingers getting one. A little tapping. Uh, 
Uh, what, for each individual game? I don't think so. I'll double check. But we can also just, we know how many goals people need to score, so we can just assign goal scorers. Oh, Federico Chiesa pulled that one out of the bag. We could just decide who scored their goals against which team. <laughs> For Tavi and Chiesa. I think that's take me to church, right? Is that why I said that? Translate English Take me to church Not Romanian Italian Yes, Portavi and Chiesa Take me to church Oh, Alexander Isaac Increases his goals per minute ratio. We have another one here. Climbing up the rankings. DCL dropped. Who else is above him? Uh, the other two above him haven't played. Alexander Isaac making a push for first. SMS, Isaac, oh, Gabriel Jesus, Tavan, no, nothing doing. Jesus, no. Oh, Javinho, not doing himself any favours in that list by not grabbing a goal today. Oh, Vass, whips it in, Alexander Isaac, chance to seal the win. Uh, oh, Alexander Isaac seals the win and probably does put himself top of expect of goals per minute or minutes per goal. If ever a game week needed to just forget me to save, it's this one. Oh, SMS! Lovely little one too with Talvan. Thundering it off the underside of the bar. It, it really is the best kind of goal. Oh, Salah straight at Oblak. Oh, bit of route one. Isaac almost released for his hat trick. Referee, why are we still playing this game? Referee. Thank you. Oh, oh no, Pardew's at risk. How is Pardew at risk? How did Ivan Juric never end up at risk? Is it because his league position never got worse? <laughs> like, because 
Saru Madrid always stayed below him. The Depay Derby. Oh, Iñaki. Trying to break into the top 10 in goals per minute. Oh, Eden Hazard. Oh my god, Eden Hazard scored 7 goals this season. Could this be the end of AVB? Can I have a drink, Perok? Oh, Benzema scored! Oh. Absolutely incredible play from the striker here. Does all the work himself, having the ball palmed out in front of him. And an empty goal from four yards out. Sorry, eight yards out, the open goal. What the best? I keep you. Not many strikers can score goals like that. Ocampos, Benzema, Pereira. Memphis. Oh, a penalty. I miss penalties. I wonder if I'll ever get to take another penalty again. Oh, that was the perfect penalty. You don't save that. So Vince, what you're saying is you agree that loitering around the box, hoping the ball falls to you, is a vital part of being a good striker. Good to know. Patient stuff from Maychester. They're in no rush. They're, they're clearly happy being down a goal. Nothing to do about that. I love this midfield three. Vidal, Pogba, Boschomiro really should be in contention as one of the best midfield threes in gobshite history. But they're just shit. Ziesh. Oh, Hazard, Hazard, Hazard. How have you managed to get that over the bar from two yards out? You're barely a foot tall. How have you managed to header it over the bar from that close? Bosch and Miro does have more yellow cards than anyone else in the league, though, to be fair. So Bosch and Miro is doing his bit. Yeah, but there didn't seem like enough distant, like, horizontal distance to get the required... Vertical distance. Hazard f forgets he's not Neymar. <laughs> Yellow cards are shit cards for quitters. <laughs> One year we should we should run a season where you need twenty seven yellow or however many yellow cards there are, you need that many yellow cards to be suspended for a game and red cards don't get you get suspended zero games for red cards. That'd be a fun season. All of a sudden dirtiness becomes an actually good thing. Because if you can get stuck in, injure some players. Oh, 
Oh, Kareem goes looking for a second. Oh, plays it through Memphis. Can't beat Navas. Or we should do a season where you get more points for a draw than points for a win. <laughs> and just see if get how the game handles it. <laughs> the, who can get sent off? The can man can. <laughs> God, I'm hilarious. Harland, the holy water derby. Oh, Fabian, Griezmann, oh, oh, Moslara with the double save from the same shot. Esporting Martyrs. <laughs> That's very good, George. That is very good. Well, Martyrs continue to be an absolutely thrilling side going forward, creating all of these chances. Wow. One shot on target. What the actual fuck. Oh, there we go. A second shot on target. I really hope Arbor Red steal it in injury time with their first shot on target. Oh, Harland. Griezmann? Harland? Harland? Oh, cheeky little play there to win the corner. Kicking it off the defender. Zielinski. Castagne. Griezmann. Was that shot? Tellez? No. Oh. Fabian. I love Fabian. One last chance for Upper Ed, perhaps. Muriel is off. Tellez. Coke. Tellez. Bruno. Coke. Bruno. Ribery. Ribery. Oh my god, he's done it! Well, it's a shame the Ducks Weasels game happened, otherwise, this would be the most surprising and upsetting result of the week. Also, there is no winter break, I don't think. I don't think I've scheduled a winter break. You don't need one in the Caribbean. Oh. Winter schminter. I'm very confused. Why would you use real life winter breaks? I don't understand. Oh. 
<coughs> big chance for the menace. Obviously, Monday night's game is Manx versus Phallus, so one of them's going to drop points. Oh my god! How's that not gone in? Ah, so what you're saying is it's my fault for ruining your momentum. <laughs> you say that, but I swear, if I don't play Football Manager for ages, and then I fire up a save, after like months of not playing a save, I fire up that save again, I will go on the hottest streak known to man. The game's like, quick, he's back! Don't let him leave. Oh! Ronaldo with a late goal. Oh, he's offside! What is it with the greatest players in history being having late goals ruled out for offside today? Messi and Ronaldo both had one. Oh, lovely ball in there. Witzel? Oh, lovely goal. Axel Witzel. One of the coolest names in football, Axel Witzel. Exactly, George. Exactly. And the Menace do get their win. Sees them temporarily top. They will be hoping to hold on to that. Although there isn't actually a result which can see them stay top. <laughs> Either Manx or Phallus will climb above them. Oh, and Buffet's off injured. Not ideal. Soler looks for Carrasco, but cannot find him. Very quiet first half. Arthur whips it in. Oh, Roll just can't quite get his head to it. Aaron Geese goes for the second ball in. Oh, falls to bail, edge of the box. Loftus cheek. Can't get it past Lopez. Oh, still a highlight, Soler. You're home to Soler. There's definitely a joke in there somewhere. George, flesh that joke out for me. Big Bob puts it wide. Oh, a yo home to Solaire joke. Let's try and work out how to make that joke actually fit. 
Because obviously Soleil sounds like Bel Air of the Fresh Prince. AVB and Pardew both insecure. Ooh. Now the big one. Which of these two teams is going to end the week top of the league? Phallus with a win will end top on goal difference. Manx with a win will end the week top by two points. Manx will end the week top on goal difference with a draw. Victor O'Simmon. Early start, early goal. You've never watched it. Crazy. I just thought it was one of those shows that's like, it was always on. It's like Friends. You don't need to have, it's kind of difficult to never have watched it. It's just always on. Somewhere. Oh. Corona. Oh, Corona's but Here we go again. Manx diving in the penalty box. Getting a penalty. Referees fucking love to give these guys penalties, don't they? Swear to fucking God, man. <laughs> Ramos has almost as many goals this season as Kareem Benzema. Oh, I missed it. What did it say? <laughs> oh, what a ball! They were carved apart too easily there. Holy shit. How did Sun get on the end of that? Oh my lord! Why now that was absolutely hammered that. Harry Maguire thinks he's done his job, got the ball clear from the corner. But oh boy. Oh boy. Don't save those. I found us playing even more defensive than normal. We could just play a 4 4 1 1, but. That might be too aggressive. We should bring our two centre mids back. <laughs> Ooh. And the Manx get the win, they get the points, and they get to end the week, top of the league, by two points. The top four are definitely breaking apart, and at some point we are, well, let's actually just call it, it's now a top three, isn't it? Seven points, you ain't in the title race. If you're more than two games back, you ain't it. There's an argument, Phallus at five points are too, too far back, and it is now just a top two. Right then, I'd say that was fun, but it might be the worst game week I've ever seen. So, uh, 
till tomorrow when hopefully the Ducks can remember how to win games. Be good. Toodaloo.